This is Christmas make number four. Technically, it could be five because I've made two things, but stay tuned, you'll find out what it is. Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. I'm in the middle of doing a series called the 12 makes of Christmas at the moment. All the videos that I'll be filming from basically the beginning of December right up until Christmas for my 12 makes will all be in a playlist which I'll link at the very end of this video. So today's make is an easy make, it was quite a quick make and it is an apron. I didn't want to make it too Christmassy but obviously it is kind of like a Christmas apron. I will just pan the camera down so you can see the full length. So it's quite a long apron. I didn't put a pocket on. A pocket is quite handy, but I thought because of the pattern, I didn't want to then be trying to pattern match. Um, and then it's just tied at the back. It's really sim super simple, and you'll see a sneak peek there. This fabric I got off eBay, and it was um, reasonable price. I just like the Scandinavian sort of prints and things. Sorry, I'm talking and adjusting at the same time. Now this strap here, um, it's kind of like a webbing. It actually came off, I think, an old apron. And the ties that I used for this one, now this, is that gonna focus? That's not gonna wanna focus, there's too much going on. But we had some tea towels, we bought some tea towels at work which came from the supermarket in a bundle and they were packaged up with this like ribbon and it was just gonna go in the bin. So I salvaged it and I've used that as the apron ties because so I thought that was quite eco-friendly. So that was relatively, I think I bought one meter. I think I bought a meter of this fabric here. So that, the neck one is a slightly different fabric from the actual waist ties but it reused what I already had, so I made good use of it, I think. Now, it probably could be, you do with being on an adjustable neck, and it probably could do with being a bit higher up, but then I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it off. So it does sit a little bit low, but it's an apron. I made a template out of some newspaper, and then just used it, and then double folded over, so, because it's a cotton, so I thought it will fray. So I just doubled, uh, ironed, double over, ironed uh, the seam allowance and then just stitched on. So there is top stitching um, where I've adjusted, where I've put the straps on. I could have, hang on, let me get it off. What I could have done is included the strap within the seam allowance, but I wanted a quick make and I was just being a bit lazy and I have put two rows of stitching which you'll see on this side here, just there. But you're not really gonna notice it with busy print, and I just did it in white because I didn't have any red cotton, um, like thread. And then the other thing I did was I made my daughter a miniature one out, I basically just managed to squeeze it out of the same fabric. So I had just bought it intending to make one, and in fact, I bought this fabric in grey because I was going to make her the grey one, but I only bought half a metre. And because the pattern runs that way, um, you can't then turn it up. I could have made an apron out of it, but then the, the pattern would have been sort of upside down. So I still have that. So I don't know whether I will just make some kind of table decoration so on Christmas Day it will go. Now these aprons, she's at school at the minute, so she's not here to pose in it. But these aprons will be featuring in a make which I'm hoping to film on this Saturday, ready for upload Sunday. Don't hold me to it because at the minute my filming schedule is all over the place and it's literally as and when. But you will see an appearance of these and possibly in action for what they're actually intended for. So if you haven't subscribed and you're wondering what on earth am I talking about and you don't want to miss out on that video, then please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram I will put, it's Hales More Sewing everywhere, I've got the same tag name on everything, but that is one way of keeping in touch with what's going on. I have put a few sneak peek behind the scenes on my Instagram story so you can see what's going on. With the straps on this one, it was the same method, um, and I haven't included that in the seam allowance to cover it up, but I've done it fairly neatly, I think, as neat as it can be. And this was also, 
with the leftover strapping from the tea towels. We had quite a lot of tea towels bought at work. So, I mean, I could get it. Oh, I can't get it in my glasses. Can't quite get it on. But it fits hair okay. You can obviously make these adjustable. Um, if you say wish, but this is just a set size, it's good. She loves to bake. And I thought that was a good make for Christmas and a fairly easy one as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon with make number five.